Hello YouTubers, hello and welcome back. Sorry it's been a long time since we've done anything remotely electronic. But this is um, a, a video warning people about this particular seller. That's their name there, just so that you know who we're talking about. These uh, are sent for this from these people um, for this kit. This is the bits and pieces here, um, of which there are three uh, 10k resistors missing. Not that I mind that very much, as I have probably 6,000 of them anyway, 10k's. Um, <clears throat> I'm not making this kit yet, I'll explain that in a moment. I'm just telling you about this kit. Okay, now it's not a full scanner. This is a, an airline scanner for uh, basically listening to chatter on the um, airwaves and listening to aeroplanes and their and their radio. Uh, and this picks up those frequencies, but it doesn't pick up all of them. It just picks up so many frequencies. We'll go into the details of that in a minute when we get the paperwork out. But that's the seller that I had on my phone now. Um, I requested for a return um, they decided that they wasn't going to give me a return um, they've hummed and nard they've, asked, they've offered me half a return um, they wouldn't um, help me in any way to get the um, schematic and paperwork which we are looking at here this is the paperwork um, eBay got the paperwork for me um, they went online and found it for me um, because we went off, um, I mean I didn't think to do this myself really, but there is um, numbers on the actual board which you can use. Um, there's a, a, a site there which I don't think we, we used uh, and there it is at the bottom. Use that, that's what we used to get the schematic for this um, particular kit because they, didn't, they would not supply me with any details or anywhere even though on the website if you go to the website seeing this it's all there you'll, you'll read that um, there's supposed to be a link to get this paperwork that we need to put this together but they just did not want to help in any way whatsoever they come up with all the excuses um, we're sales team we don't have any details um, we can't get any information we have no technical they just didn't want to help whatsoever um, so after I got the schematic I started going through the parts list that's when I found the um, resistors missing um, and then I started to look a bit more closely to find more discrepancies now I haven't checked all these disc capacitors even if some of them were missing I've got millions of them so I, I wouldn't be that bothered the main parts are these semiconductors that's more important so I tested all the transistors they all tested good I tested all the diodes which are these here forget these two these two black things here we're going to talk about those in a minute these here now these two glass diodes are supposed to be the same value obviously they are not um, that diode there is correct and this one here is correct and the test good and then um, we came to these components here these did not test good and there is no markings at all on any of them it is just a completely black cylinder with no information whatsoever now it's obviously it is not a resistor and I've never seen a capacitor like that with those kind of casings chances are 99% sure that's a diode of some kind but when we test them they test bad and I worked it out that on the schematic now just give me a few seconds while I get the information you see this well, <coughs> I'm still struggling with my shoulder by the way this is part of the um, parts list we've got D1 which is that um, square diode it's even nice enough to show a picture of it 
D2 and D4 is um, AS119, which is one of, one of those two glass diodes. We don't know what one. Um, I could probably look on the, on the smaller one, it'll have writing on it. Or look up the part number. I haven't done that yet because obviously, as far as I was concerned, we were sending this kit back. Um, these other items are chips. There's five ICs on here. Um, LM386, one of. LM358, two of. MC1350, one of. And NE602. And these are like a, a transistor type um, jubbly, uh, 78L08. So I thought, just say, what on earth are these? Because they're not on this, on this bit of the list. So when you look through the details, you come to this page, and they're very kind enough to show you a picture, which is this. Uh, which is this, which we've got two of, and it refers to it as Z1 and Z2. So if they're diodes and they don't test, how can you possibly find out which way around they go? You would be using them anyway if they're not working, but anyway, this is where they go on the board. This is the blow up of this. Um, I'm just going to try and get it run the right way so you can get a rotation. Right. The board, the board down the bottom is now the same way as what the diagram is. Here it is here, Z1 and Z2. I'll just zoom into that so you can see it. There it is there, and I've marked them there for you to be able to point them out. There you go. And on the board, uh, there's Z1, and end of my finger, there's Z2. Okay, so if they're diodes, they go only go one round. Sorry, only go on one way round. The circuit board isn't marked, plus or minus. And when you go to the actual schematic, having scoured, this is the schematic for this, by the way. I just zoom up so you can get. I mean, you can go on to that. Um, website and you can get this schematic it's free to download it cost you a penny so then you can see what I'm looking at and the only thing on here I can find that I mean checking off the diodes I mean there we are there's our AS119 there um, which we're supposed to have two of so basically going around checking off um, the diodes and everything I've done. I've checked off the electrolytics. I've got one extra, big deal. Um, but the only one I can find out where there's a part number that doesn't correspond is BB nine ten, and it's got. Just looking at the camera to see that you can see what we're looking at. It's got the number, and it's got one and two. Now I'm assuming that's that's um, two diodes put together one after the other, but they don't test. BB910. Now when you go to the other list of, of parts, that isn't mentioned anywhere on here. Only this Z1 and Z2. Um, and here's the diodes. So we're looking for BB910 and as you can see there's nothing there. So that's looking like to me, just trying to get the camera in right, that's looking to me like they're diodes and they're testing bad. Now the company who I bought this from, they don't know I got the schematic because they wouldn't supply me it. It was eBay who um, uh, found me this schematic, as I said earlier on. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to warn people about this. You know, parts that don't test and no um, 
no idea which way around they go, which makes this, this whole thing completely useless. Completely useless. Um, so anyway, I've been in contact with um, eBay. Um, I've explained all the details. The adjudicator has um, stepped in, um, like I normally do, with um, spoken about um, everything that's happened. And they've given me a full refund on this kit. So that's very kind of them. And there's a black mark put against the, the um, company who sold me this for their um, um, very bad customer service. Now they've tried. Now this company has tried to blackmail me in to remove the feed the bad feedback I left them. We will give you a full refund if you will consider in removing your bad feedback. And I basically replied. Um, don't like being black my old if your customer service was as good as it's supposed to be then there wouldn't have been bad feedback left in the first place and this is the first time in all the years that I've bought stuff from eBay that I've left any bad feedback I don't make a habit of doing it I'm normally a very patient person with companies and I know there are problems and they can be solved as long as people are talking about it that's fine we sort it out, get our problems sorted out. You know, I'm happy, the seller's happy, you know, and, and we've come to some kind of resolve. But this company, no. So please, please avoid like the plague. Now, the only thing I didn't test in this kit was the coils. There's two coils. There's that one there, um, some kind of um, IF can. I've not tested that. And here's a smaller one. Um, I'll try and get a blow up of that so you can see. There you go. I think that's about as far as we can get. I'll try and pull it around on your fingers. There's a screw thread in the top. That's it there. Now the plan was, since I can't afford very much, I mean this kit was ordered before the washing machine packed up. And this is what I was going to entertain myself with and share this with you, me putting this together, trying it out, um, and then playing around with it. You know, that was the plan. Uh -uh, it's not going to happen. So, <clears throat> um, eBay says I will receive a full refund within 24 hours. Um, I get to keep the kit. Um, I've got a nice new circuit board. I mean, most of it, most of the kit is okay. It's just these, really. I mean, we can shim sharp find some um, diodes. But, uh, yeah. So, if you guys are new to putting kits together and you want things to be perfect so you know um, that when you put it together you've got a chance that it's going to work. This is a, a warning. Test all your parts first before you even think about putting it together. Check everything. Check it all before you even solder your first joint. Especially if you've got any kind of discrepancy with the company you're dealing with. Now the other thing as well is, um, since we've got the camera out, I mean I haven't done anything. I've been lounging around, not doing very much, um, sleeping funny hours. Um, I've been a bit restricted with my shoulder, that's why you haven't seen very much um, uh, work from me. Um, I've just uh, decided just to pack in everything, you know, all I've been doing is watching YouTube videos, um, watching um, documentaries on YouTube, um, David Attenborough, i watched a lot of David Attenborough, and um, uh, there's, a, there's a documentary on um, YouTube about Stephen Jobs, the one of the co-founders to Apple, excuse me, which is um, two hours long. Um, it took me two days to see it because I couldn't sit there that long, but um, I found it very, very interesting, very good. It goes into a lot more detail and it fishes, um, fills in some uh, missing gaps that we didn't have before. So this was going to be the next video doing this kit and playing around with it. Um, I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do, um, as I'm, I'm absolutely broke at the moment. The money's going on the credit card, but it isn't coming off because we're brassic. So, um, you know, we're in a bit of, um, 
be getting into trouble but I'm not going to be able to go back to work yet so now something else I'm going to show you uh, this is another kit I ordered some radio kits I was going to play with it as well you know a simple little radio kit and we've got instructions and this is what I would expected from this kit yeah, I mean this, this didn't cost anywhere near as much you know there's a circuit board um, there's some parts uh, that's one of them um, I've got one um, kit I'm waiting on there's obviously that one um, I'm trying to find the other one um, there's another radio kit somewhere just give us a sec while I have a look for the other one um, I think I've uh, let me have a look around, I'll be back in a minute. Well, I've looked all over, I can't find the radio. It has a blue case, and the one that's on order, which has been on order for ages, has a red case. They're all different, all different transistor radios. Uh, and there was just something I ordered before the washing machine decided to throw in a spanner in the works. Um, the cut on my hand, that's um, healing up nicely, um, I've had a few problems with that actually, um, it did get infected a couple of times, um, there is something you can buy, I, I swear by it, I really do, I think it's fantastic, it's called Inadine, it's a dressing, um, it's basically a, a, a coarse woven dressing gauze that's impregnated with iodine and you put it over the wound and you put plasters over it if you have any infection or ingrowing toenails or anything like that that's what I use um, put it on for two days or one and a half days sometimes it feels like it's a bit itchy um, just live through it, take it off, let the air get to it, and keep doing it, and then finish off with germaline, which is what I did, and now it is starting to heal, but it wasn't healing very well before. Um, and it's looking like um, my shoulder is still playing up. Um, it looks like I could be on the sick for another three weeks. Um, I've got the end of this week, and the beginning of next week before I need another sick node. Uh, but that sort of brings you up to date really but like I say I'm sorry there's been no electronics done I just haven't felt like doing anything at all I've done nothing this is the first time I've sat down at the desk never mind get a camera out and start filming anything and the only reason why I'm filming this is that I wanted to warn people about this company who do not know how to treat customers they just don't now I want to point out one more thing about this kit. Please don't get this kit mixed up with other sellers who are selling the same kit. Um, please contact them if you're interested in this kit. Speak with them before you buy anything. Ask them the questions, you know, um, about these um, components that aren't... Um, uh, don't have the um, details on them. We, we've already gone into that. Ask the questions. Do you get a schematic? Blah de blah de blah. Ask them. You might pay a little bit more for the kit, but if you get all the parts that you need, then you've got a good chance of having some kind of success in putting this together. Okay. So there are a lot of these on on the on the internet. Don't think they're all bad. It's. I don't know how many of them are. There might be other companies doing the same. I don't know. Um, but eBay, well, very good to deal with, fantastic. So it's only a short little video. This is just to keep you up to date, what's going on, what I've been up to. And I say, I'm, I'm sorry lads, I really am. I've just not had um, any interest in doing anything, even Xbox or whatever. I've just not been doing anything at all. I just haven't had the enthusiasm to do anything. But don't worry, we haven't given up electronics. Um, we will be back into it again 
it's just while I'm in this frame of mind it's just no good there is a, another possible project that's coming up um, I'm waiting on someone to send me something so rather than tell you about that now I'll introduce you to that when that arrives okay it's a favour I'm doing for somebody um, I'm just waiting on it on receiving it and then we'll go into it I'm sure some of you will find it interesting I don't know I've never worked on this thing before um, I've certainly never had one apart before um, and I guarantee you it'll all be surface mounted parts but I'll tell you more about that here at a time so anyway for a waffling video I think four minutes is long enough or whatever it is um, eight minutes maybe um, so thank you very much for watching thanks for being patient with us really appreciate that and uh, there'll be more to come later take care, bye now